What's up, people? It's your girl, Adiola Buhari, Buhari, Buhari. Woo! For that, how many times did I call you? <laughs> when a Yoruba woman calls you three times, you know that there is fire on the mountain. <laughs> so a pastor gets on the pulpit and says that your government is wicked. When the wicked is in power, the people suffer. The killing, the killing that is going on in Nigeria, it shows the irresponsibility of the president called Buhari. It's a lie. He says that people should fight back, not with weapons, but with their voters' card. Every Nigerian, you must get your voters' card. Go and get your voters' card. We will not use AK-47. We will not use the weapons, but we will use our weapon. And this voters' card is our weapon. You're the for pastor. <laughs> you not do well. Don't allow wicked politicians. Don't allow wicked men to decide your fate in Nigeria. Enough is enough. So the next thing they issued this man's arrest warrant. I'm like, father, father, like what? Buhari? Oh, you ratty me for who did this to you, Mr. President? The man did not say that people should kill. He's saying that people should exercise their voting right. What is wrong with that? How many hearts men have you arrested? Tell us. How many hearts men have you arrested? About 80 people were slaughtered in Benue State. Not only have you not done enough about it, but you didn't even care to attend the funeral. Who is advising this man? Who is advising him? All we are saying is that the same way you were running around when your son got in an accident, you know, it's the same way that we want you to care about other Nigerians. Mr. President, I don't understand. You see, this is exactly why people will not vote for you in 2019. But um, you are becoming a dictator, Mr. President. You are not listening to the people at all. Also, you are releasing. Boko Haram terrorists. I don't understand. I mean, did you hear that Nigeria released another 244 Boko Haram members? They said that these people renounced Boko Haram. I'm like, shoo, how did you know? How did you come about that conclusion, Mr. President? You are releasing Boko Haram members. <laughs> it is well. And then on top of that, you sent two trucks to go and arrest the pastor in the middle of the night. I'm like, why can't those trucks go after the Fulani herdsmen that are killing people? By the way, that pastor is also a northerner. You know, his name is Pastor Isa El Buba. Maybe some people are not telling you the truth let me tell you the truth if you don't take this issue of Fulani Hartman seriously trust me it will affect you in 2019 by the way you should expect more pastors to speak up now that you want to start arresting pastors for talking about the Fulani Hartman yes expect more pastors to speak up about this and how many of them will you arrest men and women pastors are speaking up like this articulate female pastor when there are tornadoes also in America you see the presidents there the next day or that evening. I beg, tell them. It's been recorded that over a thousand people have been killed by so-called herdsmen. Somebody was literally butchered and chopped like meat. Why are we being slaughtered like chickens and butchered? And nobody's going there. There's no help. Thank you, ma. You know, God bless you. Is one race better than the other? Is one people better than the other? Tell him. Is a cow better than a human being? You see what I'm saying? Me and this woman, we are on the same page. Her name is Pastor Sarah Omaku, by the way. Now, the cocoa of the matter is that more people need to speak up. More religious leaders need to speak up. And especially more celebrities need to speak up. I'm not saying that to call for violence, but you need to tell people to exercise their rights. How were they able to crush the Biafrans and they are not able to crush the Fulani Hartsmen? I don't understand. It's not possible, except that they don't want to. And can you imagine Femi Adeshino saying that he's offended that people are linking Buhari's indifference to the fact that Buhari is also so full and it just like the hurts men. Something that is disturbing that I've heard about it is linking those developments to the fact that a full man is president. That is very unkind. This man needs therapy. He was also telling us that oh, full and hurts men were killing people during Jonathan's time as well. It didn't start at Buhari time. In 2014, there were about 16 of such tragic development during that period did we have a full any president ah mr deshino oh you ratty me oh you ratty me for what happened to this man shoot jonathan is no longer president why can't you face your own why can't you face your own administration why do you always have to go back to end eh, it was happening during jonathan like seriously when will this man grow up why would we not link it when he went after the people that are not full any when they were protesting and now that the herds men that are killing people are from his tribe why can't he go after them my brother go and sit down we'll continue to link it. Nigerian celebrities, speak up. Oh, 
all of you that are singing, all of you that are singing, just imagine if Whiskey is singing about the full and heart men that are killing people. Don't you think that the presidency will do something quickly? Imagine if Don Jazzy decides to release a song. It's true now about the full and that are killing people. Don't you think that the Nigerian government will do something? All these are our celebrities. Eh? <laughs> celebrities, you know, do well. You need to speak up about what is happening in Nigeria, OJ. Okay? And I want this in the social media, put it any everywhere. If I perish, I perish. It takes lives to bring a revolution. If this costs the end of my life, fine. But I think it is wrong for one group to be protected better than another group. Thank you, ma. <laughs> You're that queen. Somebody is for some people and it's not for some people. Mm. Mm. Tell, tell him. I belong to everybody and I belong to nobody. Get up, get out of here. What is wrong with you? If you ever play that on my show again, that is the day I would fire you. <laughs> you see, I can stand anything, but I cannot stand lies. I hate when presidents lie, and you know some presidents lie. Ogabua, you belong, you belong to some people. You have already made it known that you belong to some people. And in case you are watching, Mr. President, no offense, but you seem to be suffering from short-term memory syndrome. You know, I'm not abusing you. <laughs> I'm just pointing out what is obvious. You have forgotten the fact that Nigerians kicked out good luck Jonathan, after one time. Who would have thought PDP could be removed? The power we have as a people is we can change any government at any time if the votes are counted. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. So why are you comfortable with going against the people's wish when the people can kick you out? Barely, they can kick you out. Since the last election, Nigerians have realized the power that they have. And trust me, they are going to use it again in 2019. I beg you, no more stories. Nigerians have realized the power that they have. But you know, the most important thing is what this woman said. It's true that Nigerians, we just like to pray for things to change. And you know, this woman is asking, why can't we be the change? Instead of just praying and praying why not be the change that you want to see while you are here clapping and praying vehemently how some people have gone their children like you and me are registered in parties and they are running for offices at the grassroots if you are not there they are there they are not going to vote for you, they are going to vote for them. Hey, thank you, my mother. You're that for No offense to Hausa people. Uh, the woman is just saying that the Hausas are very proactive and she's challenging other people to also be proactive. She, you understand that is all that she's saying. People like to say that corrupt people will never allow the upright to get in power. But I say that can only happen when there are more corrupt people than the upright people. So, for example, if a choir master decides that he wants to run for office and he joins a party, if he can get all his choir members to also join that party. Won't their vote count in the party when it's time to vote? Hey, you understand where I'm going, right? They go and join politics and join in masses. Let your whole family, join. let everybody that you know join politics and see if there will not be a change before 2019 gets here. Better register and also join a party. But again, you guys know that I don't know anything. I said all that just to say hello to Mr. President. You know, we are watching you on Plasma TV. By the way, the man said that he's trying his best. <laughs> See, I stopped laughing in English. Anyway, you guys now don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. All right, y'all, it's been real. Don't forget to subscribe if you're yet to. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can find my last videos right up in here. Until next time, I'm going to see y'all later. Peace out.